Hey YouTube family, thanks for tuning in again. See my skin? <laughs> I'm about to take off this mask. I did this once before and I forgot I had it, but this is so wonderful, I'm gonna do it again. It's the Urban Hydration Nourish and Rehydrate Castor and Shea Facial Mask. And you put it on and, and of course you wash your face first and leave it on for 15 minutes and then you peel it off. And the last time when I did this, I couldn't find the ingredients. I looked all around and on top, it's on the bottom. It has water as the first ingredient. That's always a good sign. Hydrogenated castor oil. Um, my favorite ingredients are of course the castor oil, the shea butter, and I like that water is the first ingredient. It does have alcohol in it, um, so I wouldn't use this every day, but it's good periodically. So here we go. It's been on a little longer than 15 minutes. We'll start right here. <laughs> I put it, tried to put it on a little thicker. There we go. Because I wanted it to come off pretty much in one piece and, you know, easier. And as I said, I left it on a little longer, but it always leaves my face feeling so soft. Oh my goodness. That's pretty good removal. And you have to make sure you spread it out. I use this tool, which I think I got at Dollar Tree. It's a little silicone and it has those little bristles, bristles on one side and then ribbed kind of um, dots on the other and I used just use both sides to spread it to get it a little more evenly spread on my face and if you can get it evenly spread it will come off easier because it'll be the same consistent or the same thickness all over your face the areas that are a little harder to come off right now that's where it's spread a little too thin there we go Oh my goodness, that's so soft. <laughs> and I didn't put it on my neck this time, just like the very, you know, just kind of along the jawline. And I love this stuff. I need to keep it right on my countertop in my bathroom because that reminds me to use it. Now oh, did I get it all off of my forehead? Oh that is so soft. <laughs> okay. Take the bonnet off. I reattached my locks. Did I tell you that? I did. I told you when I I shared the video where I was cutting them off. I was getting headaches and I felt like it was just time. And that was last year, about March. And last month, a year later, I reattached them myself. I just, um, I missed them. And I saved them because I knew at some point I would probably want to reattach them. So I did. And of course I have them in two strand twists. I just miss them and I miss the look, the simplicity of it. What I did before I reattached them, <laughs> this is the mask. What I did before I reattached them was to do a apple cider vinegar rinse on them. Well, I washed them, did the apple cider vinegar rinse and then I reattached them. But now I'm just trying to get them back to um, where they're nicely hydrated. I'm using aloe vera gel and rose water and I use Keisha Charmaine's and I'm about to order some more because I'm about out uh, her love light and locks horsetail leaf growth oil and I'll link that down in the description box um, this stuff works it's good and it helps to hydrate your hair my hair is low porosity and so I fight to get moisture in and to keep moisture in it 
but this helps. Of course, you know, you do your rose water or your water first and then your oil, liquid oil cream. So, and I have to hydrate my hair daily. If I don't, it just, it's crunchy and dry. Anyway, oh, my face feels so soft. I love that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.